take the camera and have to put it on the tripod properly. Make sure that this is facing right. Press this gray button right here, as you can see, and slide it in. And make sure it's locked or you just throw yeah. away a lot of money. And then flip the little lock down over here, downwards to lock the camera. Move it left and right to make sure that it's locked in place. Okay, you don't have your cameras on now, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Here. Onto the power source. Uh, exactly where you plug it all up. This plug. This is normally a battery charger, but you plug it right here, right next to the camera. You take this neat little device. So I advance. Plug it right there. Oh yeah. Looks like that. Plug that in there. Place it on the ground. Now, take this and make sure that it's facing downwards. I really don't want to seem like a retard. And you push it in there and make sure that it's locked in place. As you can see, it's locked in place. Now, after that, that gives you. That gives your camera unlimited unlimited battery source so it never dies while you're filming a live segment where does this cord go this cord comes it, this cord's going to usually sit in this little box here and um, plug it into that if it is not yeah plug it in right there and you take it and you plug it in an SDI out now as you can see as you can see to the cord, it twists on the very front. Twist it to where it's parallel with the bars, and then twist it to the right to lock it. Simple. Easy. Now, this isn't, it's pretty much like a easy handheld zoom, so you don't have to hold the camera right here. So you twist it into this area right here to lock it in place and you take um, this cord right here it looks like a short auxiliary cord um, you plug the long end this end into folk into zoom s and s bottom one right there and you take the l part the aux cable plug it at the very top of the zoom now Whenever you open it up, well, to turn it on, you take the, you gotta press the white button first, and you pull it to the right. Now, it's gonna say no card at first, and you can just ignore that. We don't ever really use memory cards. But, alright, so you got that part down. Now this, as you can see, I press this right here to zoom, so it's easier, since this is a pretty high tripod. And, and I, what do these do? This right here, this right here, will lock, will lock your tilt. So if you pull it towards you, it locks it. So you can't move the camera up and down, but you can move it left and right. Now, if you push it away from you, you can move it up and down and left and right. This one locks. And this one the will lock your pan. So if you lock it, the camera can't move left or right but it can move up and down. If you lock both, then the camera will stay completely stationary in one direct spot. So you can't move it left or right, up or down. And now you're furry if you leave them away. Uh, say you just going for, get a drink of water or something, and you just want to keep your camera on the 50, lock both, walk away.